Embedding your Instagram content on your WordPress website can help you highlight your best content to engage your site visitors, grow your followers, and to secure new customers to grow your business. But what if you want to embed more than one type of Instagram feed on your WordPress website? Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you how we can display multiple Instagram feeds like this on your WordPress website. So if you're ready, let's get started with the tutorial. To create our Instagram feeds for our WordPress website, we'll use the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. The plugin lets you create engaging and responsive Instagram feeds for your WordPress website. You can purchase the plugin from smashballoon.com and once purchased, you'll find your download link and license key inside your account. Once you've downloaded the plugin, head over to your WordPress dashboard. Installing Instagram Feed Pro is just like installing any other plugin in WordPress. Head over to plugins on the left-hand side and click on add new. Next, you can go and click on upload plugin at the top. And now we can choose the zip file that we downloaded from smashballoon.com for Instagram Feed Pro. You can upload it and click on install now. Once the plugin has been installed, go and click on activate plugin. And there we go, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can begin creating our Instagram feed, we have to activate the license key as well. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice Instagram Feed. Hover over it and click on Settings. Here, under License Key, we can enter the license key that we copied from smashballoon.com like this. And then click on Activate. As you can see, our Instagram Feed Pro license is now active and we can begin creating our Instagram feeds. To get started, on the left-hand side under Instagram Feed, go and click on All Feeds. Next, you can go and click on Add New at the top. With Instagram Feed Pro, you can create several different types of Instagram feeds. You can create a feed of posts from your user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, or a feed of posts that you were tagged in. And if you want to display multiple feed types on the same feed, you can go and select multiple options like this. But for this video, let's proceed with the public hashtag feed. So I'm going to deselect these two and make sure this one is selected and click on Next. On this tip, we'll have to connect our Instagram account with Smashblue. To do this, you can click on Add Source, and on this page, you'll normally have to select the account type, which is either personal or business. But for the hashtag feed, you do need an Instagram business account. So it's automatically selected here, and then we can go and click on Login with Facebook. Once you've logged into Facebook, you'll see all the Instagram accounts associated with your profile. Select the Instagram account you want to display on your feed, like this, and click on Next. Then we'll also have to select the Facebook page associated with that Instagram account. You can select it like this and click on Next. And over here, it's asking us for permission to connect our Facebook and Instagram accounts with Smashballoon. All we're doing is allowing Smashballoon to view the information it needs to create our feed, and it won't be allowed to make any changes to your Instagram or Facebook accounts. So it's completely safe. Go and click on Done to proceed. And there we go, we've now successfully linked Smashballoon to our Facebook and Instagram accounts. Go and click on OK. And just one last tip, it's a security confirmation asking you to confirm that you want to connect your domain to your Instagram account. You can click on Yes, it's my domain, and proceed. Now back inside our WordPress dashboard, we can see our Instagram page here, select it and add it to Smashballoon. And since we're creating an Instagram hashtag feed, we can specify the hashtags that we want to display on our feed. To add your hashtags, you can simply go and type in the hashtags right here. For this video, I'm going to type in Yellowstone National Park. And we can specify if we want to show the most recent posts or the top rated posts. For this video, let's go ahead with top rated posts and click on Next. And the last step in creating our feed is to choose a template of how we want our Instagram feed to look. You have options like default, simple grid, simple grid Excel, simple row, simple carousel, and so much more. You can select the one you like the most, but in this video, let's go with card grid right here and click on next. And now we have our brand new, amazing Instagram feed. You can see all the posts for hashtag Yellowstone National Park displayed in this beautiful card layout we see here. Before we go and embed this onto our WordPress website, let me show you how we can customize it. On the left-hand side under customize, you can go into feed layout where it will show you several different layout options you can choose for your feed. Currently, it's got the grid option selected, which shows all your posts in a neatly organized rows and columns layout. Or you can go for the carousel layout, which shows your posts in a swipeable carousel. Next, we have the masonry layout, which shows all your posts in their original sizes in your feed. And lastly, we have the highlights layout, which highlights specific posts on your feed. Let's continue with the grid one. And if you look down below, you can also specify the number of posts you want to display on both desktop and mobile, and also the number of columns you want to display on desktop tablet and mobile as well. To change these, simply click on the drop down like this and specify the number of columns you'd like, just like that. And once you're happy with your layout, you can go and click save on the top right corner. With Instagram Feed Pro, you can also customize the color palette for your feed. Go into color scheme under the customize tab and you can see currently it's inheriting the colors from your theme. Alternatively, you can go with the light or dark themes like these, or if you want full control, you can go with the custom option right here and select the exact colors you want for your Instagram feed like this. Select the best option for your website and go and click on save on the top right corner. And at the bottom of our feed, you can see that we have a load more button right here. 
This button is fully customizable as well. On the left-hand side, we can go into Load More button, and we can change the button text and the colors as well. And if you want to, you can also enable Infinite Scroll. This will load more posts automatically as it reaches the end of your feed. So we can enable that if you'd like to as well. And remember, if you make any changes, go and click on Save on the top right corner. With Instagram Feed Pro, we also want your feed to look its best on all devices. You can click on the buttons at the top here to view how your feed will look like on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. Once you're ready to embed your Instagram feed, go and click on Embed on the top right corner. Here, you'll find a dedicated shortcode for your Instagram feed. Copy it like this and go and click on Add to a page. Next, go and select the page you want to add your Instagram feed to, like this, and click on Add. On your page, we give you two different options to embed your Instagram feed. The first option is by copying and pasting that short code into a short code block like this. Or if you're using Block Editor, you can use our dedicated Instagram feed block like this. And right away, you can see that beautiful Instagram feed that we created earlier inside our web page. It's looking amazing, and now we're ready to publish this and check out what it looks like on the front end. And here we are on a live web page, and right here you can see our beautiful, responsive Instagram feed right in the middle of the page. It looks exactly how we customized on the plugin, and it's currently showing all the top-rated posts for hashtag Yellowstone National Park. If we scroll down and click Load More, it will go ahead and load up even more posts inside our feed. And that's our first Instagram feed on our website. Since we're adding multiple Instagram feeds to this website, let's now go and add an Instagram feed to the footer of our website right here. Just like before, to create our new feed, we can go into Instagram feed and click on All Feeds. Now you can see the one that we created earlier here, but we're going to create a new one, so go and click Add New at the top. Again, we have to select our feed type, and this time, let's go with the User Timeline feed, which is already selected, so we can go and click on Next. And since we already connected our Instagram account, we can select it here and click on Next once again. And now we're going to have to choose a template for how we want our Instagram feed to look. And since this one is going on the footer, we want something in a horizontal layout that's also simple and minimal. The simple row looks perfect for this. So I'm going to select that here and go and click on Next. And here we are with our brand new Instagram feed in the simple row template. It looks very different from the first Instagram feed we created because this one is showing content from our Instagram timeline rather than the hashtag Yellowstone National Park. And this layout is also very different because it's a single row rather than the one we had before with the cards and columns layout. And remember, we have the same exact options to customize our Instagram feed. For this feed, all I want to do is remove this header right here. So we can go into header on the left hand side. And what we can do is disable this here, just like that. And you can see with this template, it also comes with a follow on Instagram call to action button here. If you want to customize this button, go into follow button on the left hand side, where you can choose to disable this if you want to. You can also change the button text and colors as well. For this video, I'm just going to go and disable this and click on save on the top right corner. Now we can go and embed this feed onto the footer of our website. To do this, go and click on embed on the top right corner once again, and we can copy the shortcode just like before. And instead of clicking on add to a page, go and click on add to a widget instead. And that brings us into the WordPress widgets menu. To add our Instagram feed into the footer of our website, let's go and open this one up here, footer builder widget number four. And to add our Instagram feed, you have the same two options as before. We can either paste the shortcode we copied earlier, or we can use the dedicated Instagram feed block like this. And there we go, we can now see that new Instagram feed that we just created inside that footer widget. We can now save this and check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And back on our live web page, you can see that Instagram feed that we created earlier for hashtag Yellowstone National Park. It looks fantastic, just like it did before. But if I scroll down all the way to the bottom, inside our footer, we have that brand new Instagram feed that we just created. It looks beautiful and very responsive, and it looks exactly how we created inside the plugin. So we've successfully created multiple Instagram feeds on the same WordPress website, one inside a web page like this, and another one inside the footer. And with Instagram Feed Pro, you can see that we have limitless options for the types of Instagram feeds you can create. You can choose multiple different feed types, and you can also choose from several different feed templates as well to modify the layout of your feed. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any technical issues with the plugin, please get in touch with our amazing support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.